Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm off on a, well, long overdue now, hammock camp. I'm going to go and meet my mate Ant from Ant Survived the Night. And um, he's got a location that he uses, first time for me. So I'm excited, looking forward to that. I'm taking uh, a classic pack. It's a Swedish Army LK70. Uh, as the name suggests, it's a 70 litre pack. And uh, it's X issue and uh, it's an absolute beast so you'll see that in a little bit more detail weather wise uh, a couple of showers around um it's quite breezy and windy so it should be fun we've got some nice food to cook up Ant's going to teach me a few bushcraft skills uh, might have a go with a bow drill that should be a laugh because um, i'm pretty rubbish at lighting fires uh, i have got a lighter as backup just in case so we'll see how that pans out but for now I'm going to uh, just pop to the shops, get a few bits en route. I've got a nice selection of craft beer and uh, we'll go meet Ant and uh, catch up. I hope you enjoy the video. Right, here we are in the Amazon rainforest. I think Ant's trying to kill me. <laughs> Look at this. It's, uh, it's the swamp of death, mate, there. isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. It's all good. You know, I've put my hat on so I look really bushcrafty and I look like I know what I'm doing. But yeah, we're just making our way into camp and uh, it's good. Good adventure so far. Rucksack weight, absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Ant's tried to pick it up and uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll put the camera away because I don't want to fall to yeah, my death put, basically. Put in here, mate. It's really... Yeah. I'll put the camera away. <laughs> Can't be easy actually, we can get up there. What do you think? Oh, crack on mate, let's let's go through the ferns. You alright? But look at that. It's like you're in a proper forest in it. Spot on. Beautiful place. Good workout. We're pretty much just arriving in camp. I'm not exaggerating, I think this rucksack is probably around 18 kilos. It's my fault. That's crazy. Le Leaving half of water, six big cans of craft beer. Two small cans of craft beer, food, various camping equipment. Oh, ultralight, it's a way forward, mate. <laughs> right. Happy days. Survive the night base camp. <laughs> oh, cracking. Yeah, Good I'm stuff. Now. Look at my head, there's actual steam coming off it, mate. <laughs> oh, that is insane. Oh my god. That is just sheer lunacy, that. So we're here just getting set up, um, just identified the trees. You know, when you're hammock camping, always look up. Widow makers, they're called. And yeah, it's a nice good spot. There's nothing dodgy gonna fall here. Although Ant did have a bit of a scary time on uh, one of his intent videos where it collapsed while he was uh, cooking on the stove. So yeah, I'll put, I'll put a link to that video below. Well, uh, I'm just going to get the ridge line up between these two trees and uh, get a tarp in place because the weather's a bit changeable. There's a couple of showers around and uh, it always pays to have a bit of shelter if the weather turns inclement. So first things first, get that up. Right. So 
So just some hammock hardware basically. Continuous ridge line um, made by Henge Hammocks. It's lasted me many years. It's Dyneema, really strong and durable. Um, I'm never quite sure if I'm doing it the right way. So yeah, I'm gonna just get that up between this tree and that one. That's gonna be our ridge line. Right, so that's the tarp up. This ridge line makes it nice and easy to do. Um, yeah, you've got these Prusik knots, these sliding knots that uh, when they're under tension, they don't move. One at either end of the hammock, the tarp even, just to make it nice and secure, give it some tension. And then we've got a place, if it starts chucking it down now, we can get our bag and all our gear underneath here nice and dry and of course now we can get the hammock up and um, get the sleeping bag and that aspect is done then it'll be time to sit and relax and uh, commence beer drinking I'll show you the selection which is brilliant on this one tree hugger marlin spike hitch whoopee sling ridiculously big and heavy carabiners which aren't necessary but that's just what I've got and of course the hammock so all I need to do now I've done a test sit, so don't worry, it's uh, it's all okay. It takes my weight, no problem. All I need to do now is um, get the sleeping bag under and uh, I'm done. That That is all you need. Nice and simple. Obviously the good thing about hammock camping is it doesn't matter what the ground is like. Um, you know, wet, boggy, uneven, it doesn't matter because obviously you're suspended. Well, it's got many advantages over sleeping in a tent. Oh, I can't wait to open a beer. Um, I've got a bit of time off from work now, so uh, there's quite a few videos coming up, uh, including some more wild camps, some reviews, I've got some good products to show you. I'm gonna hit the sleeping bag. In fact, I'm gonna open the first beer, because why not? We're camping, and uh, that's the rules. So this obviously Ant's little camp, really nice, kind of into invite me here. We're going to be sitting under this later. It's obviously the fire pit area um, and yeah we're going to have a small fire, a nice contained fire there. We've got some lovely food to cook up and it's a, this is a really nice area. Um, there's a nice river just below us. Um, I've seen some, you know, wildlife trails. An ant tells me there's lots of deer, foxes. So hopefully we'll see some of those as the video progresses. Now we know, and an IPA is a New England IPA. lovely really nice sorry just tetsy flies all over the lens um, yeah just being outdoors relaxation burns away stress good for you very good for you just the sound of the trees and rivers really nice just gonna enjoy this beer make some final alterations to, to my setup and then I'm gonna get my chair up and just go and chill out nothing else to do and that's uh, nothing else to do that's what it's all about just switch onto the good camera Ant's just uh, Making the final tweaks, tweaks to his setup. Tweaks We're about to commence uh, fire shortly. Commence drinking. <laughs> um, you know, you see mine on the GoPro, but there you go. Simple continuous ridge line. That's really handy for hanging things from. My head torch and my gloves there. Again, three by three meter tarp. 
You just gotta hey, not I am trip not, over these. I am not rushing the night away, but I cannot wait to get in a hammock and have a sleep in it. I yeah. love hammock camping, it's so comfortable, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Camp set up, all done, and we can just chill out. Yeah, we're pretty and, much uh, so we're just going to have fun now, aren't we? Yeah. Um, Let me get that uh, going to sharpen the old axe. And it's pretty new, but I have blunted it, just testing it. Excuse the wrap, I need to fasten that properly, but yeah, going to do a bit of sharpening. I thought the axe wasn't very sharp, but you know, I don't know much about axes. Um, so, Ant is going to fill us in on what he's just done there. Right, so I've just took it out of the sleeve. Um, I've got my, my sharpening stone ready and literally just felt it, and that's, that's sharp. But a good way to test it, you just hold it and get off your nail. If it, if it doesn't slip, yeah. that's, that's good. There might be areas, certain areas, I noticed a little bit up top there where it slipped there, see? Yeah. Where it's slipping off. But to me, that, that's still, yeah, that's a lot sharper than the one that I'm cutting with. And my, mine does a, a decent job. But that's, I'd say that's all right, mate. Well, Let's give it a go. You can give it a go, mate. Yeah, well, I've got all my wood over there. I think. Yeah, definitely, we'll have a play. That's, that is, wow. And it come like that from the shop. Yeah, it was sharper, mate. It would literally just slice paper. So Ant's just uh, about to get a file it. We're gonna uh, we're gonna try and do a little bit of um, bore drilling first, I reckon, and right. then we'll have a bash. No, we're not gonna spend too long because it is getting cold now. And for some reason, guys, it's going dark. Well, yeah. I don't know what time we're on, but it seems to be going quite dark. It's twenty to seven. So. I don't know. Is winter coming? Winter's coming, mate. And uh, look at this. Peanut butter. Peanut oh, butter. Word. Stars and stripes. Peanut butter and jelly butter. So, uh, stars and stripes. Donald Trump's going to come flying out of this can, mate. <laughs> <laughs> or Nancy Pelosi. A a Democrat or a Republican. Oh, gosh, yeah. Let's not go into politics on these videos. Right. Peanut butter and je jelly stout, what jelly porter. I don't know, it's bizarre, isn't it? What does it smell like? Let's have a smell of it. I'll give you my impression first before Chris's. Peanut butter and jelly? I'm smelling nothing. No. Well, I, I'm getting a little bit of... Well, I'm certainly not smelling... It smells like a stout. I'm not getting peanut butter and jelly, but... No. Oh mate, that's lovely. Is it alright? I don't know if you've got a cup, mate. I'll pour you a bit in, like, but it's a... Uh, Let's try. Covid-19 beer tasting. <laughs> it's, a, it's a new thing. I don't know where it is. I think it's in the... Or, what's it called? Somewhere. At anyway. some point, mate, I'll save you some before I get to the end. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, it's lovely. It is a little bit... little hint of peanut butter in there, is mate. It sweet? It's, is it sweet? It's a sweet It's one, not overly say? sweet, but yeah, it's nice. We quite happily drink about five of them. <laughs> so. Wow. It must be alright mm. then. This darkness has come from. It's literally just appeared, hasn't it? So we just uh what are we doing on? Well, 
we're just getting uh, getting little bundles ready. So all this is your uh, your kindling ready for your fire. Um, so you start off quite small. This what we've done is we've picked it up off trees. Um, so that most of this stuff that you're, you're seeing now, if you can hear, it's cracking quite nice. That's because it's not touched the floor. So the um, best thing to do is have a look in your in your tree, your surrounding trees and areas and things like that. Any bracken that's fell down, get that because you'll always hear that really good snap, and that that'll burn. It's not uh, it's not wet inside. All right. Nice movement, but nothing erratic. Got some smoke. Ah, it's popped. But get the idea. So that's the idea anyway to get it going. But have a go, Chris. See what you think. Start moving it slowly first and get used to it. That's it. That's it. We run out of memory card space. <laughs> it's so hard. It is tough. It's so good. It's so hard. This is first time. I'd like to. Yeah, be it, is, it is. It is first time. time. In my entire life. But this, this is the thing. That things like this aren't easy to do. That's it. There you go. That's it. So if you keep at that speed, Chris. Now. <laughs> oh, close. Ah, oh, there we go. Now you're talking. You try and keep that spindles. That's it. There you go. Take your time. That's it. Now you're getting comfortable. Nice one, man. Oh. Nice one. That's good, that, nice. Chris. You smell it? <laughs> Just cut a bit of lighter fluid. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, mate, that, that's very hard. I've, uh, I've got a lot of respect for. That's good, mate. Then we'll see. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you got it. You got it there. You would have got smoke if you'd have carried on there, you know. But people who do that, proficient in this, uh, ultimate respect, mate. <laughs> it's that's fun, so isn't it? Yeah. It is good, though, isn't it? Oh, uh. yeah. <laughs> nice, nice one. one. Nice mate. one for trying, though. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. So you just, you just took. You're literally just touching it and that, that produces a spark. And what you want to do is try and aim it into the tin. So. Do you want to go with that? Okay. That's it. That's it, well done. Oh, nice one, man. That was a really good shot in there then. I've got I'm getting some really good sparks so that's the thing. So I'll have to sort you out a tin and uh what's it called? You get your flint and steel off uh, eBay and I'll sort you some uh Thanks mate. Some what's it called up. Well I uh, know, seriously, that will bang on that Chris, eh? You want to use a piece of wood, not metal. Oh yeah, look at that! Beautiful. The old SE3 cuts through it. Look at that! No problem. There we go. Ah! <laughs>
Lord. Oh no. Well folks, we're sticking on the GoPro because the heavens have opened. Uh, we've had a very, I'll be honest, a very tough hour and a half yeah. trying to get this fire lit. The smoke's blown at us. We could hardly see. Uh, the bastion nearly caught fire. <laughs> there was a lot of expletives. Um, re genuinely, really tough. We depended on the fire to obviously have our tea, to get some food cooked. Everything soaked. The heavens have absolutely opened. It was an absolute deluge. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's been a resilience test, frankly. Yeah. So with that in mind, Ant's getting the steaks on, Master Chef. <laughs> I'm opening this, mate. Nine percent roast the coaster. Oh, oh yeah. Nitro Imperial Vietnamese coffee stout. Nine percent. Yeah. It, it's just uh, oh it needs God. to happen. Yeah. Flip these over there. Oh yeah. yeah. They're looking nice then, mate. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, oh I'm burning. Nice. I can't see. Oh, I'm blind. Gosh. That's good. Thanks, that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, yeah, mate. Good now. Look at what does that say? I love camping. <laughs> uh, what's hey. mine? I think mine's pretty similar. Happy, happy camper. Happy camper. <laughs> well, we are personified happy campers, mate. Cheers. Oh, cheers, man. Cheers. <laughs> hey, we're still smiling, though. Still smiling, mate. Real yeah. bushcrafters. This out. This is what real bushcrafting is. It's not all happy smiling. Is it? Eh? Everything going smooth. I can't even speak. Everything. Everything on my channel. I'll leave mistakes in, so you'll see this regular yeah. where I can't see. You've got some bloopers to come from this one, mate. <laughs> God, man, this one. Got oh, God, I can't even see. Serious that, smoke yeah. inhalation. Oh, I can't get out. No, oh, mate. I'll tell you what, mate, we've worked for this one. Too right. That is going to be the it best. It smells delicious. That is going to be the best meal I've probably had in a long, long time. Right, get yours, mate. Oh, oh gosh, smell, look at that. That's it smells really like good. Spain to me. <laughs> Honestly, I can, you know when you go on holiday to Spain, can you smell that? Uh, what to the mushrooms? It's what what millions. happens on Chef when you talk about presentation. You <laughs> think the mushrooms look like eyes, look. It's like something from 50,000 Leagues Under the Sea. <laughs> It's a catch and go. It. It's a new catch and go. It's an octopus which is being run over by a bus. <laughs> It's look, not, the, it's not in the, the best condition. It. <laughs> it's roadkill. <laughs> Master Chef, I present to you roadkill. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. What a dish. Yes. Mate, honestly, 10 out of 10. <laughs> you know the way the chef cleans up like a, with, a, with a bit of kitchen roll with this one little mark. <laughs> what are you thinking, Ant? Lovely burgers there, mate. Absolutely spot, spot on. Look at that. Double whammy cheeseburger. <laughs> Courtesy of Charlie. We got here in the end, didn't we? We did, pal. I'm pretty full now. Yeah. We'll finish off with this. Nightcap. We're nice and warm. Yeah. We're drying out slowly. Yeah. <laughs> Very slowly, but. Oh man, it's been a good camp. <laughs> Right, 
Right, just after midnight and uh, it's time to hit the hay. A good night, quite a few beers, some nice wine. Um, it's a bit chilly now, temperature's really dropped and I'm looking forward to getting in my sleeping bag, having a nice sleep in the old hammock. So yeah, hopefully the werewolf of the moors isn't going to pay me a visit tonight and I'll see you in the morning folks, good night. Right, good morning. Probably look like I've uh, been ran over. <laughs> um, not the worst sleep, but not the best. Um, I took this cheap Asda £10 sleeping bag and because uh, I didn't think it'd be that cold. You'd think I'd know by now, but I <laughs> keep making the same mistakes. So, yeah, I could have done with a warmer sleeping bag. It was, it was a little bit chilly. I was just speaking to Ant about under quilts and under blankets and uh, it's something I might have to, you know, look into a little bit more for the future. Um, just makes it that a little bit more comfortable. Woke up about an hour and a half and um, eventually got back to sleep. But I was saying, just feel a little bit sick. Uh, it's nothing to do with any food. I don't know whether I'm getting a bit of, start a bit of a bug. Felt a bit iffy yesterday. Uh, so I'll just have to see how that goes, so uh, the plan was to cook some breakfast, which I've brought, I'll skip that, but um, Ant can crack on if he wants, got some nice bacon, but uh, yeah, I feel a bit rough, frankly, so uh, gonna wear, uh, yeah, see how that goes in the next sort of 20 minutes or something and see how the video pans out, basically. <laughs> so we're pretty much just about packed up. Um, and just putting the final bits away but it's been good we had a cracking laugh last night oh, there, man, yeah. there wasn't that much filming done because the weather it was absolutely atrocious and it was absolutely torrential rain so I couldn't really get the cameras out <laughs> but it took a while for the fire persevered through that mate didn't we we blooming did I tell absolutely you about soaked. an hour hour and a half we spent on it something like that yeah. a little bit stupid but we so, got there yeah in the end we had lovely lovely steak asparagus mushrooms um, there's a little bit of GoPro footage, I don't know how that's going to turn out until I look at it, but it was good. And then we had uh, some lovely burgers with nice onions as well. Mm. So it went down a treat, so it was cracking. So thanks very much to Ant for inviting me down here. It was no great to come. Sadly, it uh, ended with me. Uh, like I think I'm getting the start of a bug, so we'll see how that one pans out. So it's a bit of hasty exit, but yeah, really appreciate that from Ant. Uh, those of you that don't, uh, check out his channel I'll leave a link below to and survive the night loads of good bushcrafting stuff on there uh, brilliant catch and cook video over the past couple of days and he's got much more better fire lighting skills than me and more, more patience with that flint and steel <laughs> and the uh, and the bow drill mate so his bushcraft skills are coming along great so check him out and yeah uh, thanks Ant can't shake your hand mate because of coronavirus but yeah, don't worry, I'll do the old yeah, we'll do, do, that. do the old elbows yeah. final pack up Sight check and uh, we'll be off, mate. Cracking yeah, one. Thank you as well, Chris. No worries, mate. Down, mate. Yeah, nice one. Brilliant.